and welcome to the show where we are playing Silly Buggers on the Grid again. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> it's GTA 5 time, it's snowy, there's more cars to play around with that we haven't used yet. Uh, this is possibly one of my new favourite cars. I love the Alpha Julia Quadrifoglio -oli -oli thing. Uh, I think it's a fantastic car. And... I'm really glad to see a version of it in GTA 5. It's a shame it costs about 2 million unless you've done the heist and then it's still like something like 1.7 million. So, yeah, it's really cool. It's a really, really nice car to have, but it is, shall we say, not cheap. We're going to go racing with a big crash here. I can just see this is not going to end well, but there we go. I also have a kitten agreeing with me on the whole it's not going to end well scenario. Oh, someone's being a cheaty bugger and resetted. I've crashed into Scotty more than anything. Yep, as expected. We made a mess of things. The backwards start. Well, Crow's almost beached it. It's... Uh, <laughs> we're off to a brilliant start. <laughs> oh, and everyone's gone very, very wide at turn two-ish. Something along those lines. Uh, oh, that's... No, oh, that's, that's not going to work through there. I mean, we're now all managing to stack them. This has gone very, very well for Impega and Ninetales. And the rest of us have got a lot of work to do. There is slipstream, there is catch-up. There's a chance. At the end of the day, that is what matters uh, most. Oh, there's... I'm very sorry. Oh, I'm very sorry there was not much grip through there, and I was very much pushed. We're currently doing Dancing on Ice at the Snowy Sonoma replica. Uh, I mean, it is a good... There's a very good Sonoma replica, all things considered. Uh, yeah, this is GTA 5 at the end of the day, getting the... Uh, Elevation changes as close as possible is quite impressive, and this corner here is as terrifying as it always is at uh, at Sonoma. Um, yeah, we've 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 spun around a lot on this first lap. Uh, there was a, there was well the start was a mess, but snow does affect the handling physics, shall we say? The snow the snow does have a profound effect, and well your brakes are a lot worse, you have a lot less grip, and with a little bit of slipstream, it's really easy to get carried away. A little bit too much through a corner or into a braking zone and trouble is had. And now I know how dangerous this is going too wide. This is too this dangerous too wide when racing the the well actual circuit. Uh, it's equally dangerous too wide here. Uh, now oh god, don't be too much of a moron through here. Of course, this is actually quite an oversteery car. Oh, bloody hell. We've been driving around, you know, we've been filming stuff, racing stuff in the snow a little bit now, and this might be the most oversteery car I've driven so far. That's concerning. We're going to go side by side through the S's. You never really want to do that. I think Chris is too far back, although I'm going to get a massive slide of my own through there. I mean, this is the battle for 10th at the end of the day. Uh, at least it is a battle and we're not cruising around on our own. Uh, we might catch up. The Glisker and you are having a bit of a fight. The leaders are a long, long way into the distance. Uh, now, it's not, again, it's never impossible uh, with a good, a good run. We might be able to do it, just can't, we really can't afford to make any more mistakes. We've basically had our mistake quota. If we run wide there, we can still get back on the circuit. We're on a slightly funky line. Oh, that's a huge, huge crash. That's definitely a yellow flag, if ever I... There's probably a safety car, probably a medical truck required. That was a mess. I didn't even see... I was busy fighting with my own car. Um, I don't, <laughs> don't know what happened, but certainly... I think it was Wookiee's car got squeezed against the uh, sort of curb marking, and it just launched it over. That is an impressive crash. Sadly, that does well. Ewan's maybe run a little bit wide there. If we can catch up to Ewan, then we can have a fight over seventh position. A little bit wonky through there as well, which is far from ideal. Curb boosting is extra dangerous in the snow, we've found, uh, because you know, if cars dislike, or if cars get a little angry when you bounce over the curbs or uh, go over bumps or something, uh, add in some snow to that where everything has less grip, and boy, can things get out of hand and spinny really, really quickly. So you've got to be careful if you want to try and be sneaky with the old curb boosting. I didn't want to go over here. I've, that's twice now. I've just got a huge oversteer at the wrong point and struggles to catch it. We really are struggling around here with all these hills. Oh, I was starting to look like I might stand a chance at catching seventh place here. But no, we're going to go for the... Oh, that was a really nice line through there. I, I mean, this, this layout of Sonoma I absolutely love. It's one of my favourite tracks to drive in just about any game, really. I don't know what it is. It's just something about it. I, I like the NASCAR layouts in general. I like the Watkins Glen NASCAR layout. Um, but yeah, this is a... It's probably not my fastest ever track, but it's one of my... One of the tracks I enjoy the most. Uh, one of the tracks I, I enjoy the most. This is just a big... There's a lot of wiggling going on from these cars. A lot of wiggling now. Be careful with the throttle. Just a little bit of throttle control will kind of sort things out. 
with this, as cars go side by side down through the S's. Yeah, sadly not quite as bunched up a race as we have uh, have had. Don't go sideways through here. Can we actually get a lap through here without making a mistake? We can. We are kind of catching the leaders, but it's only a second a lap, perhaps, and there are not enough laps left for us to do much about them. There is enough laps left for us to maybe get seventh. Uh, oh, don't, don't, <laughs> don't go too wide through here. Thought about having a dive. Wasn't sure. You won't even need to have a dive. We can just get a cut back. Will that be enough of a drive off the corner? It will. Now, we are going to give a bunch of slipstream to you here, which is, I, I say is okay. You know, we can't really avoid that. We might have to be careful with the run into, especially with my car moving around as much as it was, into the hairpin. Is you and close enough? I don't think so. And one of the other things also makes this track a little bit more challenging, perhaps. Uh, to get the elevation change, of course, you've got lots of slightly curved bits of track, and sometimes where they, I guess, rejoin a flatter part, you get a little bit of a a little bit of a bump. Uh, now that's unavoidable with the way GTA maps work and the way you build stuff with these stunt props. However, uh, you've got to be careful of that and that is what is going to make these cars a li that little bit more oversteery. Oh, like that. <laughs> okay, I was perhaps... I, there was a chance I saw a brazen fall off the road slightly ahead of us. I thought there might have been a chance to do something about the yellow car. We got a little carried away. We bobbled a little bit too much across the inside. I got a little greedy and I mean, as if on cue... The car snapped on me. That was that was my bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wookiees has given up uh, doing a donut on the infield. Or oh, can we go for the spectacular? The real like, that's the the mega brave pass from Sonoma. We're going to have to try and do something. At the final corner here. Oh, we are going to get the exit. Possibly. Oh no, we tagged you in. Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> that was the my, the tiniest of tags, but I guess in the snow it doesn't really take all that much to just ping a car a little sideways. We straightened you and up, and you lost enough time for us to sneak past. Not the cleanest pass I've ever done. Uh, Danger Man gets fastest lap in fourth. Nine Tails take victory from Impega. By the looks of it, a very, very close battle. In fact, very close battle for the top three. Uh, Blakey in third. Sadly, we saw none of that. Um, yeah, Brazen just beat Scotty to the finish line. I might have been able to get with that group had we not had some, some sliding issues. That car is really oversteery in the snow. Not really like that in the tarm on the tarmac. Normal racing conditions, but in the snow, that might be one of the most oversteery vehicles I've driven. Of course... We couldn't run around this circuit without having a go with the proper NASCAR. So here we have the Hot Ring Sabre that I'm guessing might be quite oversteery. <laughs> if we had issues with the Komodo, Komodo, whatever the damn thing's called, I can't remember the exact pronunciation. This I would expect to be worse, but I guess I could be wrong. We will find out. Uh, we'll just uh, not go too wide, it will run the curb a little bit. Now, this does seem to have a little bit more rear-end grip, curiously. Uh, this does seem to actually be quite well planted. That should be good news for me. I don't know whether Impega was going to have a look at the inside or... We'll give some space. Regardless, we'll give a little bit of room through there. We are nicely done. Yeah, okay, so this has way more... That Alpha is just super slidey in the snow. It's just really, really slidey. Okay, well, that is interesting. There are now a lot of cars. I mean, this is still going to slide around in places, I have no doubt. Here being one of them, maybe? Not quite. Uh, it can't really... Oh, God, we can't defend every which side here. Uh, we'll just be late on the brakes. Try and get that good exit. Off the corner. Oh, we're three and four wide, I think, going through there. Uh, we are off the corner in a relatively good position. However... Oh, we're still three wide up towards turn two... I don't know if I want to be on the, on, the, on the outside. At least you get a little bit more runoff area. If things go wrong and you get nudged, there is some space to go when you're on the outside there. Uh, Impega has got back to the lead. We're still making this work on the outside for now. We will eventually run out of speed out here, I should think. And again, we slip and slide our way through there. They're side by side for the lead now. We will come into range, but you're just going to have nowhere to go if we get alongside. Three wide through the S's. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Uh, oh, yep. <laughs> Stinty made the most of that. Uh, I did. I don't think it Pega quite realised that I was backing out at the point that I did, and was trying to give me space. Gliska probably didn't even know I was alongside on the inside there. Gliska's off into the wall uh, in that infamous bit of gravel, grass, whatever, sand it probably is at the actual circuit. I was thinking of Forza. It's... Is it Forza? Oh, you know what? There's a bit of 
scenery that's not tarmac out there. Oh, trouble. <laughs> Bad. Bad things are going to happen there. I can't believe we made that one stick somehow. Uh, we all slide our way through the next corner. Ninetales on the exit. Very wide is going to be at a wonky angle. Yep. That was always asking for trouble. Uh, Ninetales just couldn't slow the car down in time. I mean, amazingly, it's not... That's not gone as badly as it could have done. I feel like, weirdly, you expect snow to create more chaos. Okay, when you say, yes, let's cover all the tracks in snow, you expect snow to create more chaos. In some ways, it seems to just slow everything down to the point where it's slightly less chaotic. Which is, uh, we, admittedly, this is probably... Oh, oh, maybe not for general lobbies. I'm really sorry, Chris. <laughs> I would wait, but this is all in such a date. If I try to wait here, we're going to be um, run over by everything. I think Chris is still on the back of the draft, so that'll be fine. Chris will recover. Uh, there is controller problems with Stinty. Oh! Well, Brazen was backwards. I feel like that's a very NASCAR crash we just had there. Brazen was just going backwards into... Who was it who got stuck on the tyre bundle here? Is it... I, I seem to remember seeing a video... I want to say it was Tony Stewart, but I could be wrong. Anyway, there was some revenge crash and someone got put on a barrier. Like, they had the back of their car stuck up on the barrier and they couldn't move. I, f I have a feeling it was Tony Stewart, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Oh, there's a bump. We can climb over that, though, which is quite nice. And there's also a cat currently running around my office causing trouble. I don't know what she wants, but... Hopefully not to break anything. Distracto. We're going to blame Distracto Cat. Yes, that is a racing driver excuse that doesn't get used very often. Oh, Pega didn't... I suspect wasn't thinking I was going to try and cut down that far. Oh, it's all gone wrong for us. Now, I say there's always a chance. This one, it might be a bit of a tall order. There is a long line of cars. There is a very long line of cars. And... If shenanigans occur in that group, we'll pick up some places. I mean, we've got me and Crow relatively far back. We can work together to try and join in the fun. If they start going side by side, you know, there is going to be tears at some point in that pack. There is no way that pack of cars is making it to the finish line without somebody pointing the wrong direction. I'm going to make that bet, and it's a pretty damn safe bet now, that that group is not making it to the finish line without somebody pointing the wrong direction. Longbow's pretty much already made that come true, so... <laughs> you know, we've just got to keep our nose clean now. It's going to have to be one hell of a recovery drive if we're going to make this work. Because uh, we'll get up to this group, and I think we'll just hit the wall of cars and won't be able to make any more progress. But that's fine, at least we'll be in a fight. Uh, this could be on for a really good lap if I can finish it off uh, well because of the slipstream and the clean run through Sector 1, I guess. Oh, God, don't let Brazen back pass. I'm not going to be able to have an answer for it. Uh, Brazen will understeer through here. We're going to get slipstream off of the car ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, give me something, give me something. Game, it's not quite enough. Brazen can't stop it, though. Right, we're going for a top 10. And then maybe afterwards we'll see where we see where we la <laughs> we can get into the top ten. Then we'll see what it's looking like getting further up the order as everyone's sliding their way through these first couple of corners. Can I make it work on the outside here? That's a long way round. It's a really long way round. You're on such a funky line through here. We're going to fall back into line. We're not going to go crazy for all that. I actually know who I'm racing. We're not racing nine tails. I thought it might have been. I saw, da I saw Danger Man further up with the other red car. So oh, there's a pink car is visiting off the map. Oh god, it's just there's so much traffic. It's down to you. How do you get past? Where do you overtake in all of this? Do you want to really risk it side by side through the S's? I mean, you kind of got to a little bit if you're going to get up towards the front when you've got so little time to go. But I've just got a big slide through there and I've got nowhere. I think I can't get my car back under control again. Brazen had nowhere to go uh, and got stuck behind me slithering around. Uh, and Pega and Ninetales are stuck in this little group. Oh, Stevie got the back. I... Stevie got the back of nine tails, and then I got to the back of Stevie, and it all ended up a little bit iffy there. Told you someone was going to point the wrong way. This is the final lap. Impega's had a huge wobble through this first corner. Curb related, quite probably. Oh, there's Chris rejoining. That thankfully sees the on-rushing horde of cars and backs out of that one. I mean, is there a podium in this? If we get everything right, it'd have to be amazing final lap. It'd have to be amazing final lap and probably involve a fair bit of luck for this to work. Me and Impega have this sort of similar idea cutting through the field here. Can I get a really good exit? Not good enough. Oh, if we wanted to get it, we'd have to have gone probably past you and here. This final corner is about to be madness, I suspect. They are too wide up ahead. Danger Man is in trouble. Ewan's out very wide. I am in a little bit of bother here. We're slipping and sliding. No, we've just slid too much through all of this. They are going to be 
two and three and four wide into the final turn. Impega has a huge dive, won't pull it off in time. I will probably get past Ewan. Ewan tries to fight back on the exit. It won't be enough. I'm not sure who wins. I think Liska got it. Looked like Scotty got second. In that, it, that's what it looked like from the like text that comes up at the side, but I'm not actually sure if that's 100% accurate. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> Scotty got it. Scotty took victory. I got fastest lap. It's something. Am I only one of the 56s as well? I think so. Yeah, and I also can tell you exactly what lap that one was as well that managed that one. Scotty took victory from Gliska. Blakey third in Pega fourth. Danger Man fifth. I beat Ewan by a couple of tenths. I mean, first to seventh were covered by a second in that one. And that was... I, mean, I worked my way back from a very, very bad mid of the race. So I will take that. That is a really fun circuit. A really good replica. Of, I mean, Sonoma is a good circuit full stop. Really, really good replica of Sonoma. Uh, very good fun to go racing with. The, the, the Alpha is very oversteery. The Hot Ring Sabres make for some excellent racing. Got a little bit unlucky at places. That's motorsport. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool track. Lots of fun. Lots of fun to be had. Uh, that, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And of course, a very big thank you to Attract Brosef for building this wonderful circuit. That shall be it from me. Until next time, a goodbye.